you need. You're going to need a wide tube comb and a paddle brush. You're also going to need two scrunchies, maybe even four, because we're going to be sectioning off our hair into four different parts. You're going to need um, a garlic mask. I will link, link everything below. I live by this garlic mask. It gives me life. And lastly, TGIM leave-in conditioner. I am obsessed. It is the only leave-in conditioner I will use. The only one that really works for my hair. Um, I can't explain it. I've tried so many products. Um, let me know if there's other ones that you might think will work as well for 3C, 4A hair. I would love to hear them. Um, so yeah, just wetting my hair because it doesn't obtain moisture that well. Next up, I'm going to use Cream of Nature Shampoo. Um, not the conditioner, I just wanted to show y'all it. Um, and I use this just to get out the gel in my hair. I had a bun yesterday, so I want to make sure I got all of that out before I continue along with the process. want to make sure you get in that head, girl. Scrub, 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 scrub it up, dub. You want to get all that gel, all that dirt out of your hair. I like to put my shampoo at the base of my head and work it down. And then we're just going to rinse that out, make sure it is all out. And we're going to go ahead and go in with the garlic mask. Again, I will link it below. It is a little bit pricey, but I'm telling you, it works wonders. It's about $25. Alright, so now you're going to part your hair into four sections. You do that with your wide tooth comb. I guess I should address the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm wearing a bathing suit. I have to do my hair in the shower. I don't know what it is. I just need the water at all times because my hair gets dry really, 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 really fast. So that's why I do it in the shower. And then you're going to leave this in for 10 minutes and have yourself a little dance break. Why don't you? <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to comb out each section. So I start from the bottom. It just makes life so much more easier. It's easier to get the kinks out. So definitely start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. And I'm just going to do this with um, all four sections. All right, so this next clip coming up is very blurry. I'm so sorry, y'all. My camera went out of focus, but I need you to see it. Um, after you rinse out the garlic mash, you're going to go ahead and get your leave-in conditioner and put it all over your head, girl. Get all that leave-in conditioner in there. Next, um, of course, because my camera was blurry, I'm just going to go back and show you all. I am parting my hair. Um, I don't know how many rolls I had at the end, but you just part it. I'm doing smaller cur curls. So I'm going to do smaller parts throughout my head. And now I'm going to take my paddle brush and I comb through the whole layer of that row. Make sure you comb it out really good. Let them curls bounce. Make sure there's no kinks in there. So when you're on your way to twist it, it's not bad. And now I'm literally just combing my hair with my fingers just to make sure there aren't any more kinks. And then I just go ahead and start twisting. So of course when you twist you're taking two different strands of hair and you're just looping them around each other just twisting just twisting just twisting um if i feel my hair getting a little kinky at the bottom i'll take my paddle brush and go through again um to comb it out just to make sure everything is smooth and i'm gonna do this throughout the rest of my head the same exact thing just parting and twisting parting and twisting parting and twisting All right, so now um, I twisted all of my hair besides one little section because I wanted to show y'all um, me doing the front. Again, depending on how you want your part, if you want a middle part, you're going to part your hair down the middle and then just do the twist off to the sides where the middle part is. I wanted a side part, so I made sure to make that um, part so I could go ahead and twist around it so it can be like this once I take the twist out. Again, taking two strands and just going back and forth, twisting them around each other, making sure there aren't any kinks. That is literally the key. Making sure there aren't any kinks at all while you are twisting is how you could get a bomb twist out, y'all. In this clip, I wanted to show you my heat damaged hair versus my hair that isn't damaged. It's such a difference. It's ridiculous.
if anyone has any recommendations on good um, stuff I can use for my heat damage, let me know. Alright, here they are, my lovely twist outs. Literally, we're just leaving conditioner in my hair. Um, I really hope you like it. I usually leave my hair like this for a week, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to take it out for you the next day. Of course, as y'all know, if you watched the video yesterday, Stefan is not here with me today, but I'm going to be taking out these twists. Um, as you've seen, um, I showed you my wash process, what I do before, twist it, slept with this overnight. I actually, this is how you know I love y'all because I would have kept these twisting for like a whole week and then took them out. But I love y'all, so I'm going to show y'all how I take them out right now, and then that's it. Let me know if you like this video. Um, these are the things that I use to take it out. I use extra virgin um, olive, olive oil, coconut oil that you can get right at your grocery store. And then I use Eco Jump, but not really. This is more for like baby hairs and... I just put a little on my hands at the end and literally pat my head. So for any little frizzies that are there. And you're going to need, of course, a wide tooth comb or a pick or just not like a little comb because I'm going to use this at the end to fluff my hair. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to take my coconut oil. And let me take my ring off. I just take like a chunk of it. Put it in my hands, rub it around, rub it around, rub it around. I put too much. And then I literally just go throughout my head, making sure I'm touching every twist, making sure I'm getting them edges, girl. Get them edges. You want the coconut oil on them edges. All right, that should be good. And now I'm just going to take the twist out. Um, I do the unravel method, so literally I make sure my hands are like dipped in coconut oil too while I'm taking them out. And I just take the twist and start from the bottom. I don't know why I just did that. Start from the bottom and literally untwist it. So the twist I put in yesterday, just untwist it the same way, making sure you're closing them like this like holding it tight so you don't get any frizzies just like that voila um the fronts of my hair like i stated earlier are a little bit more damaged than the rest some of them you could just pull out <laughs> uh, here we go from the bottom um also if you want um bigger curls then you would make the twist bigger like if you want more of a fluff and it's bigger I don't know what's going on with this one right here um you would just make bigger twists the night before which I tend to like better but for this video purposes I did the tiny ones because that's just the mood I was in so these are three that I took out Again, dip your hands in some more oil. All right, and then one more so I can show y'all detail how I take it out. So this is the twist. Go at the bottom. Literally unravel it. Yeah. 
Right, so I took all of the twists out. This is what it looks like after I took the twist out. I didn't do any separations or anything like that. This is just the twist out. So now what I'm gonna do is separate some of the twists. Um, and when you separate, you literally wanna take the curl, right? And then you pull it apart, but hold them tight and then curl it as you take it out. Make sense? That's how you could keep the curl and it doesn't just like unravel. So again, pull it apart and then curl it. So all that frizziness can go together. Again, pull it apart, curl it. And I'm doing this to make it bigger. You can leave your hair like this if you want. Actually, this will stay longer. You'll have like a longer lasting twist out if you do keep it like this. But again, I'm doing my typical one and I usually take them out. So I'm just gonna pull some of these apart to make it look bigger and thicker. So this is it. I pulled some of them, untwisted some of them. Not all of them. You want to keep like a variation so there is still some curls. Hold on, let me just get these. All right, so now, again, if you wanted, you could just leave your hair like this. Feeling this, ow. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my wide tooth comb. And then um, what I do is literally put it in my hair and then fluff it up. Put it in, fluff it up. Fluff it up, fluff it up, fluff it up, ayy, fluff it up, ayy, hey, fluff it, fluff it, fluff it, ayy. Hey. And this is the part that's gonna give you all of your definition. Take it from under, fluff it up, fluff it, fluff it, girl. Fluff that hair. What you, what you said? You gotta pull it up sometimes to fluff under here. Alright. That's it, y'all. Um, what I would do too, um, like I said earlier, my hair in the front is a little bit more damaged, so sometimes I literally just put it underneath my ear on the side and then cover it up just like that. Um, and then you can just take some eco gel like this just a little bit literally a little bit y'all like this and then just pat it over your head and that's so the frizzies aren't there and that's it you want to flick your baby hairs you could do that too i like to make mine very minimal so i just rub the gel on it and kind of swirl it like that nothing crazy voila here goes your twist out this will last me about a week. Just put a scarf on my head at night and then just fluff it like this when I get up. And that's it. Love y'all so much. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you have any more questions about this twist out below. I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 9. Today's Vlogmas Day 8. Love you so much.